You know, friends, so many people have wished me congratulations on a 67-year career in baseball, and they wished me a wonderful retirement with my family. And now, all I can do is tell you what I wish for you. May God give you for every storm a rainbow, for every tear a smile, for every care a promise, and a blessing in each trial. For every problem life seems a faithful friend to share, for every sigh a sweet song, and an answer for each prayer. You and I have been friends for a long time, but I know in my heart that I've always needed you more than you've ever needed me. And I'll miss our time together more than I can say. But you know what? There will be a new day and eventually a new year. And when the upcoming winter gives way to spring, oh, rest assured, once again, it will be time for Dodger baseball. So this is Vin Scully wishing you a very pleasant good afternoon wherever you may be. Giants commemorating this special day with a plaque at AT&T Park. Hall of Famer Willie Mays on hand to help the Giants honor Vin Scully. October 2nd, 2016, Vin Scully's final broadcast. A classy gesture by the Dodgers' biggest rival, the fans in San Francisco. We're trying to get photos. All were given large cards to hold up during the game that read, Thank you, Vin, on Vin's <laughs> final day at the office. I was thinking, sitting in the booth talking to Willie. Who would have ever think that little red-headed kid with a tear in his pants, shirt tail hanging out, playing stickball in the streets of New York with a tennis ball and a broom handle, would wind up sitting here 67 years of broadcasting and with my arm around one of the greatest players I ever saw, the great Willie Mays. There are miracles, aren't there? Right. Let's go back to this one. Wow, what a day. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Access Sportsnet Dodgers, brought to you by your Southern California Nissan dealers. I'm John Hartman, alongside Oral Hershiser, Jerry Hurston Jr. It wasn't quite the send-off we saw with Vin Scully last week in a Dodgers stadium, but part of me, Oral, thinks that the nine-year-old Vin Scully would have liked the result today, a kid who grew up a, a Giants fan and had a chance to see the Giants finish one off against the Dodgers today. Yeah, this has been quite a day, and it was a great day for Vinny. It's hard to keep the tears back and the lump in your throat right now. And Vinny always said, if you want to make God smile, tell him your plans. But we hope for Vinny that all his plans come true. And I know God smiled over this man Yo, for 67 years to be the doctor Yo, announcer, to be an announcer oh, across this nation. And God is smiling down on him today. How many of us get a chance to live our I mean, really, the percentage is really small. Vin Scully got a chance to live out, his, live, live out his dream as a broadcaster for 67 years, did it for the very best organization, the Dodgers, and that little boy, nine-year-old, 80 years to the day, yeah. he ends his career. Congratulations. So now Vin Scully can enjoy the playoffs at home like the rest of the fans. Plus, 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 plus,